Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have an article for you guys from Verizon's News Center. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So I'm going to tie this in with root metrics. So the full root metrics report is not out yet, but all of the metro areas have now been scored. That's 125. And there's one state left to be tested and, and posted, which is West, West Virginia. So just about all everything has been scored and released. And as we continue, continue to see articles like the one you're seeing on screen, Verizon lights up 5G ultra wideband across Oklahoma. We saw one that said across Indiana. We saw one that said across Texas. So they are furiously deploying this at a pace. And you guys have heard me say this for several videos now that Verizon is deploying C-band at a very, very fast pace. And that's reflecting with what Root Metrics is showing. It's the scientific testing. And when many thought that AT&T and T-Mobile were starting to close the gap on the testing scores, it, it, look, it really looks like Verizon is pulling further away. Looking at the metro levels, looking at the winds, the outright winds, the, the, the ties, Verizon just dominates, absolutely dominates the top 125 metros. And you got to remember, root metric scientifically tests a lot of different categories. It's not just data speeds and uplink. No, they test accessibility, they test reliability, they test calling, they test texting. All of that is very important when you're looking at a network. I know some people don't call anymore, and I get that, but it's still a very important factor for some. And Verizon just totally dominated those categories to get all of the overall wins that they ended up getting. The state level, that was, that was you know, pretty much AT&T taking the cake on the state level, but Verizon tied them. They're now both at 31 wins. So Verizon is catching up ridiculously fast at the state level to, to AT&T and close that gap. And again, it's the same. It's accessibility, reliability, calling, texting, speed, data performance. All of that is being tested at the state level as well. I predict the second half of 2023 Verizon will overtake AT&T at the state level as well and, and assume the number one overall best network per root metrics. I truly believe that's coming. They're the gold standard in the industry, when it's at least when it comes to the scientific testing part. I think eventually, very soon, Verizon will overtake Ookla and OpenSignal and, and all those other testing firms as well. And that's more crowdsource-based. But I think eventually... T-Mobile won't have anything else to claim. The only thing they'll probably have left to claim is Umlaut and maybe some other third-party testing firm that they come up with in the future. But the main ones, the Ooklas, the Open Signals, the Root Metrics, JD Power, if you want to throw them in, I think that's going to go to Verizon in the future. Too, it's just too much contiguous spectrum. Remember, contiguous spectrum performs better versus fragmented and, and even aggregated spectrum. Like in a lot of cases where T-Mobile is not contiguous and it's fragmented, they have to aggregate more channel bandwidth to get to an overall higher bandwidth. Whereas Verizon, the A block is 100 and the B block is 40. That's Yes, they're aggregating both of those blocks, but the blocks themselves are contiguous. That's a huge advantage when it comes to performance. And then you throw in that, that CBRS, man, that's just going to be a one powerhouse of a network. And they're already catching up now quickly, and they still don't have C-band deployed on all sites. So you got to keep all of that in mind as you... As you look at all of these uh, third-party testing firms, again, it's not just all about speed and data. We get it. It's important. 
I understand that that's that's how your phone works. You know, if if you don't have data on your speed on your phone, it turns into a paperweight. I get all that. But man, Verizon assuming the position that they're that they have or that they have had and they just keep extending that lead is just it's just very in my opinion it's incredible. It's something that I've that you guys have heard me say in in, in several other videos. Verizon just continues taking the cake on that. And it's going to be hard for them to be dethroned, at least on root metrics. I could see in the future, second half, first half 2024, I could see, you know, T-Mobile maybe taking a few more st uh, cities. AT&T maybe firing back. But it's going to be very hard, almost, you know, some may say impossible for Verizon to lose their top spot on root metrics. There's just too much going into the ground, too many new sites, too many small sales, too much money, too much uh, fiber going to the sites. And then the, the, the C-band clears a bit early here. We'll see that next month. It's going to be a sight to see. So let me know what you think about this. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description. I'll leave a link to the root metrics uh, website so you guys could check it out. Maybe see your state and city. It's, it's just it's it's just straightforward. There's there's no other way to bicker back and forth. There's no need to, to to discuss it. It's 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 in the testing. The scores are out. The numbers are factual. You know how you take it is how you take it. But again, once Ookla starts showing Verizon winning, and then Open Signal comes back, I mean, there's nothing else to argue at that point, right? There's no there's going to be very little for T-Mobile to claim. And I think it's going to happen very quickly. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.